The inaugural International Week really follows from the Habitat Agenda last October, which is about the new urban initiative. So as a profession for a society which is increasingly global, it's entirely appropriate that the theme is international. As architects involved with buildings, we have to go beyond buildings. We have to couple that to the infrastructure, the urban glue that binds the buildings together. It's a shorthand for the city, and the future is about cities. By 2050, 75% of humanity will be living in cities. The biggest challenges facing cities, urbanities, is global warming. And the causes of that, the generation of power, industry, agriculture, transport, uh, and buildings. Uh, so it's that collective that needs to be addressed. As a, a profession, we need to move outside of buildings. We have to be looking at settlements, the combination of infrastructure, the connections, the public spaces, the links, the transport. Because the sustainable city, now and in the future, is about strong civic leadership, it's about pedestrianization, people over cars, it's about density. High density cities consume less energy and they're more friendly. They're always voted the most desirable places to be. It's also about mixed use. Um, the traditional city was never ghettoed into areas where you live, areas that you work, cultural areas. It was a wonderful mix of that. So we have to rediscover those virtues. We have to be much more multidisciplinary in our approach to identifying the issues, addressing the issues, and designing not just better buildings, higher performance buildings. We do know that we can create buildings which generate more energy than they consume. They can harvest energy, they can feed it into the grid. So, uh, and we can also offer a higher quality of urban life in a more sustainable, more green future. We have, as a profession, to embrace other disciplines. The future and addressing the issues of greater complexity means that from the very beginning we need more disciplines working together. Uh, we can't have the arrogance of believing that we can design a building and then let others kind of make it a reality. It's interesting that uh, a whole generation cannot remember Trafalgar Square before it was transformed from a traffic roundabout. It's now taken for granted that it's a pedestrian centre in the heart of, of, of London. So uh, that small change, which of course had an effect, a ripple effect, way beyond that area, has totally transformed the quality of urban life. Perhaps the big message for this conference is the power of advocacy, the power of the architect to inform, uh, to spread knowledge, to work with other disciplines. Um, and to move outside just the profession of designing but, and not only teaching but into the political domain. Some of the most progressive examples in Spain of urban interventions, the Bilbao Metro for example, the Guggenheim there, were all the result of architects not designing buildings but making it possible for other architects to transform the infrastructure of a city to revive that city from a post-pre-industrial uh, revolution age to the modern age.